Welcome to the live daily analysis with Elite Currency. It's free for February and we're taking a look at the euro dollar and pound dollar on this 23rd of February. First of all though, please pause the video to read the entire risk disclaimer. By continuing watching this video, you are aware of the risk involved when trading for exchange and global financial markets. Let's kick off this video with looking at the euro dollar daily chart. We see that yesterday ended up with a bullish pin bar, big wick at the bottom, bullish close, pretty near the high, relatively speaking. So that looks like a reversal signal to me. It looks like a reversal daily candlestick pattern for more upside price, not able to hold the breakout below the S1. And this is something I was talking about in, in the 105 region, uh, even all the way to 104.75, 104.50. Uh, that that could still be a bouncing spot for an expanded correction. What I'm looking at basically is the fact that price might make a three wave correction to the upside to retest, for instance, the R1 or R2. So if it will get that high, we'll analyze it in just a second. But I think that the yesterday's bar will give some retracement, at least up to the pivot point. So let's talk about that. By the way, before I move into lower time frames, I just wanted to add this fib. You can see that price has uh, bounced at the 50 fib so what i'm looking for once again is this three wave pattern and that could end at the pivot pivot point here but it could also go up back to the 50 and r1 or if it does break above that perhaps even to the r2 and the 78.6 fib making an expansion of the correction like this I, if it gets there i think that would be an interesting swing short potential for uh, a decent downside at least to retest the bottom i would say in the minus 61.8 target so that could be very interesting so i'm keeping an eye on these resistance spots here these confluence zones at the r1 106.75 the r2 107.50 and at the pivot point at 106 uh, that match neatly with this particular fib if i were to turn off or not off but then turn around the fib and put it on this particular swing i swing low you would see that their targets as well the minus 61.8 target for instance could be something to uh, to reckon with which is equal to the R2 as well. So uh, as long as price stays above the 104.50, uh, this expansion correction could occur. If it breaks below the 104.50 and the 138.2, then a breakout is occurring, and I think that price could retest this bottom at 103.50. So let's take a look now at the lower time frames. Take a look at the four-hour chart, and uh, take a look at as well. These are weekly pivot points, by the way. And you can see that from a time factor point of view, uh, if we count the candles that have not broken this particular candle low, one, two, three, four, this is the fifth candle. So if the next two candles, uh, four hour candles, do not break this low, I think that this swing high, swing low is, there's a good chance that this is completed and over, that that has uh, been done with, it, that bearish momentum is, is has been completed basically and i think that there could be a bigger correction because of that this could be a hook back from more upside this is my view at this moment i think that the s1 uh, is a leans itself neatly for a bullish bounce like that it is a support level a strong support level once again it is a weekly pivot point and i think that there could be a potential head and shoulders uh, on various time frames we can see that potential for uh, shoulders here and here at the bottom of the head that could be another reason for a bounce back to the pivot point or perhaps beyond. Let's take a look at the hourly chart now. And you can basically see uh, that I put a fib on this first bounce up. So what I am expecting is a deeper pullback. And you can see that price failed to break the top here. So I think there could be an ABC zigzag correction back down to, for instance, the S1. I think that leans itself. It's a nice area of support with the 61.8 fib support levels on the left here so i'm looking at 105 25 bounce i don't think that price should break below 104 90 if this zigzag were to occur uh, i wouldn't expect price to break below this particular spot the first target is the pivot point the minus 272 and these bottoms at 106 uh, so that could be about 75 pip move if price holds its its strength and it makes kind of a bull flag correction like this and then breaks above the bull flag there could be an extension there could be a further upside to the r1 for instance with maybe some small pauses at these targets at the fib targets uh, it depends on how price will respond to the 106 if there's a strong reaction a big momentum to the downside and then a bear flag well of course then i would adjust my thinking and, and go along with what the market is showing to me and we'll be looking for a break of that bear flag as a continuation to the downside for the moment, in my view, the most likely 
move down to the 61, bounce up to the target, and then see what price will do, but not breaking this bottom. Looking at the pound USD, uh, we see a continuation of this triangle. In fact, price breaking to the upside, but hitting the R1 weekly pivot, turning back down and falling. And this is one of the reasons why I, I was I was warning for not a in a way a false break, but also a break that just didn't go too far. One of the reasons why I thought it wouldn't go too far was also the breakout candle it was a mere 38 pips right in here this particular candle one of the reasons why i said that the stop loss should be below this bottom and that there could be a, a pretty uh substantial pullback and it did it went back to the 78.6 fib well i was looking at all these fibs to be honest the, that could be bouncing spots but if you look at the four hour candle of course you can see that uh, it was pretty strong retracement and we only got some positive candles uh, when price hit the 78.6 fib. On the hourly chart, you can see that there was no reaction to any of the shallower fibs. Let me put that fib on. So that's why looking at price action and candlestick patterns, I think, is important, even though some bouncing spots might look strong. You can see that the 38.2 fib did not hold. Look at that strong bearish candle uh, with a close below it, with a close near the low. That is not a you know, a candlestick pattern at all that shows a bullish bounce at the 38. It's actually the opposite. It shows that there's strong momentum. And indeed, another bar pushing through those fibs. Only when price hit the 78.6 fib was there some wick. Oh, there was a bullish candle to 61.8. So, you know, anywhere around this zone could have been uh, potential entries. And uh, if you're still in that trade, I would probably move the stop loss um, to below these, these lows, below 124.25. And reduce the risk to a few pips or just get out for break even to be honest and just uh, or or a few pips loss uh if you know the entry was around the 61.8 let's say then uh, looking at about a 45 pip uh stop loss so if the loss is five pips then that's extremely small uh loss if you have proper risk management if there's only a half a percent risk on this trade for instance then one ninth of half a percent is very small on your total account so or my account so uh, i should say so <clears throat> so from this point of view pound dollar is back at support it has tested this support trend line several times so it could bounce again but if it doesn't if it does break below 124 with a good breakout candle which i discussed already in the past depending on the size of that breakout candle a big breakout candle stop loss above uh, the high bre big breakout candle 70 80 pips or more and targeting the S1 weekly pivot. Small breakout candle, uh, that could be a bit risky, 40, 50 pips. Uh, I would look for a hook back, maybe even to up to the pivot point before looking for a candlestick reaction at the pivot point for a move down to the S1. If price does break with the strong bullish candle above this resistance trend line, this small one on the 30 minute chart, and above the pivot point with the bullish close near the high, then it could go up to the R2 uh, when price breaks above the R1. So, and the 125 round level. So, we're in a very extremely tight box here. You can see how the price is moving around and moving averages. Look at how it breaks below and then above and it keeps going back. Basically, the moving average is like uh, quicksand or like gravity at this moment. Price is pulling back to it constantly. So, it's difficult for price to escape the moving averages when it's an extremely um, lengthy consolidation like this. Eventually, though, there will be a breakout, but it just takes long, as you can see. The breakout eventually, though, I do think it will happen. Just looking for a breakout candle below the 124 and support trend line or above the pivot point and 15-minute trend line for a break to the R2 or a breakdown to the S1. In the larger picture, basically, price could fall further than the S1, though, especially if we put a fib from here to here. You can see that price could fall down to the 61.8 and S2 and uh, it could after the R2 even go up to test this top. For more live analysis don't forget to sign up with live daily analysis go to elitecurrency.com in the left upper corner click on trading systems and then click on live daily analysis. Thanks and wish you good trading. Cheers.